This is the video demonstration of my Pure Data Patch for the sonification of data. It takes eight data streams and uses them to control various parameters of five synthesizers. Six of the streams of data on screen come from a charity called Kiva.org, a microfinance institution, along with the opening value of the US stock market and a binary value as to the period in the month when loans are being repaid. All the data sets are plotted by date, starting on the 10th of September 2012 and finishing on the 31st of December. On the right hand side there are the overall controls. Overall volume control, a toggle for PD's built-in compute audio on-off, a start-stop toggle for the counter, an all synths on-off toggle, a confirm load button for when PD is being buggy and not loading the graphs properly at startup, and a speed of playback control, ranging from 1 index per second up to 15. Underneath those are the controls relating to the current index. To select a section of data to play, first select the index to start playing from. This is represented by the red sliders on each graph. Then select the lower limit, the first blue slider, and the upper limit, the second blue slider. You can't select a lower limit higher than, or a higher limit lower than, the index to play from. This will then loop through the indices you've selected. You can use this for effectively zooming in on the data when combining with the speed of playback tool. Each synth has a volume and pan control. The pan controls a default set to this tone on the left, this tone on the right, with the other three synths central. These three datasets control a square wave with a bandpass filter. The pitch is controlled by the total loan, the relative volume by new loan amount per day, and the vibrato amount by average amount loaned per day. The vibrato amount has its own on-off toggle. The filter parameters can also be changed on this synth by changing the centre frequency or the Q factor as desired. These two datasets are controlling the vowel synthesizer, the pitch of F0 by the total members, and which vowel by a series of bins within the number of new members per day. The repay period data is just a binary 1 or 0 depending on which date of the month the current index is in. If it is between the 15th and the 1st of the next month, the data is a 1 and the tone is turned on. This is just a simple sine wave, more to be used as a reference for the other data streams than a useful data set on its own. This data set contains when and how many loans I personally have loaned since the 10th of September. The generated sound is a bell-like sound produced with an FM synth, with the value of number of loans per day giving the pitch of the bell. This dataset is taken from the opening value of the US stock market using the NASDAQ listing. The value of the data controls the cutoff frequency of two nested low-pass filters on a white noise source. The amount of customization in the playback of the five synths allows for a great deal of user interaction and lets them adapt the sound depending on what they want to hear. There are a great many available combinations of the synths, so datasets can be selected, compared and contrasted easily. Here, I am comparing the total loan amount in the left ear with the NASDAQ value in the right ear and the repay period data in the centre. This concludes the demonstration.